Hello everyone and welcome back to this war of mine. Um, it seems, you know, a reasonable number of you want me, want to see me continue playing this game. Uh, we'll see how far I can get, um, and for that matter how far, how long you guys really want to watch me play this because, uh, I'm not gonna lie, you'll, you'll probably freak out because I don't actually know what I'm doing in this game. I haven't done any proper good, and re good research. Um, and for that matter, whenever you, uh, whenever this video goes up, you can be assured that you can get the game for not phenomenally cheap, but a little bit cheaper uh, because the Steam uh, Christmas sales are still going on. They are going to last for a few more days. So you can get this game for something in the ballpark of five bucks cheaper, uh, which makes it still, uh, you know, not a not a single digit item, but uh, still very cheap. So uh, let's just go ahead and hit continue. Uh, lest I be mistaken, we finished our first night on uh, the slice video, and for that matter, uh, I'm really sorry about the fact. Yeah, here we go, day two. Uh, I'm really sorry about the fact that I haven't. Um, I it, it's taken me so long to get back to this game. Found some plenty of really fine stuff. Okay, the night was calm. Marco has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Uh, okay, so we got six morsels, ten water, two bandages, two medicinal herbs. Six uh, components, three weapon parts, three coffee, uh, some rolls for tobacco, a trading item, uh, components in wood. So, there we go. Um, oh, that's right. This is all uh, purely... Okay. Pavle, you slept poorly. Uh, you're slightly wounded and hungry. So, you can go ahead and... Uh... Actually, well, no. You're slightly sick. You can go ahead and take some of this stuff. Marco, you can shovel this pile out. Um, just going to go ahead and do their things there. Uh, Bruno is uh, sick, but on meds. Uh, we're going to send him down to this crafting station. What we really want to do now is we want to get a bed and a cooking station up. We can focus on other things later. Um, okay, so to start things off, what is it going to take to do this cooking station? Ah, crap. Crude stove, no go. So, um, alternatively, the only other thing that we can build is a, uh, a bed. So let's make this bed, and I'm gonna drag it down here into the basement. Uh, or, well, you know what? There's less walking if we do it this way. Just put it in this room over here, um, and place it there. And, uh, Pavle... There's not really anything that you can do, so I guess I'll just let you sit down. Uh, we're at a lack of components. Um, Marco, you can go ahead and crack this door open over here. Um, oh, wait. Pavle, you can shovel this pile out. That'll come in handy. Open that door, and uh, we'll pry this uh, thing open. There we go! Hey, um... Slightly tired and on meds. You can go ahead and lie down, man. I don't know what else there is for us to get out of this place. Uh, it's looking like I've cleaned everything out. And um, anything that I haven't cleaned out. We've got books and a morsel. We'll grab all. We'll exit. I'll send him back down to the crafting station. I don't think that there's any. I'm going to find anything extra in this last cabinet here. So um, I can finish crafting. Really what I'm after at this point is wood and components. Um, ooh, so we got some gears, we got some herbs, a lock pick, parts, electric parts. So we'll grab all. We'll exit. Pavle, you can, uh, come down and take a seat down here, because now there is officially nothing that I can do. Uh, I suppose what I'll do is, um, focus on repairing stuff. Not repairing, um, okay, yeah, we are still sorely short um, we used up most of our components to craft that bed. We only had seven in the first place. So, um, we've got not enough components for a stove, but this is really the first thing that we want to focus on. So, after the stove, I also want to get my hands on, uh, not, uh, filters, but a rainwater collector, because, uh, water is necessary for, um... Well, basically, it's, it's necessary for cooking, but it's also necessary for uh, the distillation process in Moonshine, and um, there's... Um, there's stuff left over at the uh, that last location that I was at. Basically, I'm just going to send someone out to uh, the house that I was at the previous night, 
and I'm going to just pick it, uh, fill up the entire inventory of the whoever it is that I send out. I need a stove. That's really what it comes down to. I need a stove. So nothing can be done here. Um, Marco is tired. Bruno is hungry, slightly sick, and tired. Everybody's tired, mainly because we don't have any good beds here. So um, I'm going to send Pavle to grab a morsel. Marco's going to do the same. T uh, tonight, Marco is going to be privy of a um, sleeping in the bed tonight, and I'm not entirely certain who I'm going to put on guard duty. It's probably going to be Pavle. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've got to choose between two people that I don't want to send out because um, Marco has definitely got to get some sleep. Um, still hungry. Still hungry, slightly. Still hungry, slightly wounded and bandaged. Uh, so slightly sick on meds and hungry. So I guess I'll send Bruno to... You know what? Uh, I'm going to end the day because there's nothing left for me to do. I, I, I mean, there's nothing for me to do. Oh, okay, hey, we've got some new uh, locations. Garage. Um, before the war, you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with, uh, with us. Alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. Um, caution advised. Uh, I think the decrepit squat is where we were. Uh, lots of weapons, lots of parts, huge amounts of materials. Uh, St. Mary's Church, this one is also new. St. Mary's Church is still a place of meetings for the local community. Priest Olek is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful, useful materials there. Uh, caution advised, so that basically if there's caution, I guess it means that... Um, there are people there. Semi-detached house, already checked that. Uh, no, I didn't go to the decrepit squat. I went to the shelled cottage. Okay, some parts, lots of weapons, huge amounts of materials. And that's really, really what um, I need most above everything else. So um, let's figure out who we're going to uh, key, let um, let stay and who's going to do the scavenging. So um, we're going to send Bruno... No, no, no. Marco gets to sleep in the bed. Uh, Pavle, with the, uh, since he's got the larger bag, he's going to scavenge. And um, Bruno is going to guard. So uh, we will prepare now. And I've already cleaned out the location. Let's just make certain. Yeah, shelled cottage. Okay. Um, scavenge, guard, and uh, sleep in bed. So we will prepare. Pavle will start... No, he doesn't need any supplies because the place is uh, deserted. So we can leave all of the slots open to take as much as we possibly can. This could turn out horribly for me. And I mean it. It could really turn out terribly horribly. But um, I don't think that it's going to be a problem. So let's pop open this front pile here. And um, we're going to pick up as many of these, as much of this stuff as possible. Just completely clean out this uh, front pile. Exit. And we'll go ahead inside. Let's check inside of the fridge. I don't remember what is in this location because it's been a w so long since I made that uh, slice video, so... Um, okay, we've got some herbs. We've got some sugar. Um, sugar, non-essential. Here, we've got... More sugar. Let's go downstairs. Okay. And here we've got... What? We've got some wood. Okay, so... Exit. Let's check this one over here. Um, parts for weapons. Don't need that stuff either. Alright, come on. Let's go upstairs. Let's loot this pile over here. Just trying to make certain that I've got everything that I could potentially need. Um, there we go. And I think that we can just leave it at that. Uh, I'll go ahead and open this door over here. Uh, we'll be able to make a stove and everything with uh, with things that I've uh, picked up now, which means that um, th our food will go further. Uh, yeah, just wood and components. Oh, we've got fertilizer and some electric materials. Also books. Um, that's not bad stuff. 
You know what I think I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna start doing... Um... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rearrange all of the stuff that's in this house. And I'm gonna come out front to this front pile. I'm gonna dump stuff, and I'm gonna run back in the house, grab stuff, and run it back out to this pile here. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this for you guys. Okay, guys. I'm all done. Um, I stashed everything from the location in the front pile so that if I need to come back here at any point in time, uh, I can just grab everything that I need. And yes, I know that this is... Maybe it's a bit of a, a waste to do things like this, but, um, the, uh, I've got all of this, uh, all of these components up here. I've also got all of this wood, and this is gonna come in super, super, uh, useful and important for maintaining the base. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Uh, everything from this location is now in, um... This one front pile, in fact, I can't, uh, none of the uh, other locations that were uh, stashes before can be accessed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, get out of here and head back to base. And I will be able to make myself a stove and uh, hopefully craft some other uh, super important things. In addition, uh, achievement unlocked. A bill, a bit of indulgence. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Wish I could bring back so much every night. Let's hope that nothing went wrong overnight. Um, we've been raided. Someone came to take our things by force. Pavle has been searching for supplies, brought some good stuff back. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were... We were all armed. Marco was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Oh, great. Okay, so... Uh, how's Marco? Slightly wounded? Great. That's not good. Well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, put Bruno to bed, because I'm certain that he's very, very tired. Uh, Marco, you can go ahead and hit this bench over here. Um, Pavle can, uh, go into the kitchen, because that's where I'm going to put down the, uh, the stove. So, we're gonna go ahead and craft a stove here. Five wood, ten components. So, we'll make a basic stove. We'll come up here. And put it in the most reasonable place, up in the kitchen. Place it there, and, uh, Pavle, you can, uh, come downstairs here. Okay, Pavle, um, what do we got for our things? Um, we got a shovel, a crowbar, we've got the equipment to make a knife, I think. So, you know, it's, it's not the best of weapons, but it will do, so let's go ahead and make one knife. Uh, with the weapon components, we've got a stove on the way, um... I'm trying to think. I know that it's possible to grow stuff. Uh, you know, like make a garden, which will be super useful. Okay, let's go ahead and hit up this, uh... Actually, what does it cost to upgrade this station? Um, it's gonna cost 14 components. Uh, the station already, and, um, the parts. So, we're missing enough components, which is a bit of a disappointment. But, let's see what we can craft here. Um, I've already got one of those... Uh, God, components, they're so useful, they're so valuable. So much so that I can't... Jeez. A rainwater collector would be very, very useful, but we've already got a lot of, uh, stuff. Let's go ahead and hit this up and, uh, cook a meal. Now, to make a basic meal, uh, this is something that I learned really, really, uh, quick and off with, um, the game whenever I played it the first time. You can make a single meal from one morsel and two firewood and five water, okay? But you can also make two meals, which is a whole lot more effective, um, with one morsel, one carrot, six water, and two wood. So, for all intents and purposes, um, as, especially as far as firewood and water goes, you're saving a lot of materials if you can get your hands on vegetable or uh, filler, I guess you might say. Um, kind of used to don't starve. And it makes two meals, okay? So... By all means, this second one is optimal, which is the big reason why I want to try and get a garden up, but I don't know how to make a garden. I haven't actually gotten that far in the game myself, so um, I'll probably do some research before I record next time to figure that out. But uh, feel free to, you know, mention down in the comments as well. I'm going to be reading them to, you know, if you guys have tips, give them to me, please, because I don't really know what I'm doing with this game. Um, wood is not a phenomenal, um, phenomenally important thing, and we need... Uh, 
two firewood. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft two firewood at the stove here, make those, and then we're going to start cooking a meal for uh, Marco. And actually, uh, Pavle can hit up the crafting bench here and make four firewood out of the wood that we've got. And then uh, Marco here can make a meal. But as you can see, it takes a lot of water to make this stuff, which is the reason why we need a rainwater collector. I think we get two bottles of water. Okay, now that that is done, uh, Marco can eat. And uh, Pavle is almost done making those components. Oh, hey, we've got someone at the door. I think that that's a traitor. So we'll send Pavle up uh, here. Marco, you can head out and uh, answer the door. Pavle, go ahead and craft. Uh, cook a meal for yourself. Just one. Make that. Hey, man. Come on, I haven't got all day. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so we've got a trader here. Uh, cooked food. Oh boy, canned food. Now that, that is uh, tempting. We could really use that. Franco, uh, we got some meds, herbal meds, coffee, uh, quality roll-ups. What do we have for materials here? We've got components. Uh, you can have it for almost nothing, which is not that bad. Um, weapons. Uh, so what do we want to get rid of? Well, first and foremost, I think that we can get rid of these trading items, okay? So... All of it. So, uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some canned food. This doesn't need to be prepared. It's good to go as is. This offer of yours is too is just too damn impressive. Okay, fine. We can have a deal. So, this, like, paints the picture for what they're trying to do with this game and make a point that, like, being stuck in the middle of a war is very difficult. Two cans of... Two canned food worth three expensive trading items, you know, things that still pass for tender in in uh, in this type of a... Uh, it won't do, try harder. So food is by far the most value, the most valuable thing that we have. Um, so what else do we have on our hands here that we might be able to get rid of? Um, books, a good book is uplifting, very common stuff, not very interesting. I don't really know what else we've got to do any trading with. Um, what have we got here? Uh, tobacco, raw food, bandages, coffee, herbal meds, medications, quality roll-up. Like, I want more stuff, but I don't think that I can afford anything. I mean, and this is one of the reasons why it's really, really important to get a rainwater collector and a still up. Because alcohol sells for very, uh, alcohol is very valuable, okay? So you can collect rainwater and then proceed to run it through the distillery with sugar to make alcohol, and alcohol is worth a decent amount, um, not as much as these trading components, I think, but unfortunately won't do try harder. Okay, well, I have to give away all of these three trading components to uh, get something, and it looks like it doesn't matter what I do. Well, I can get one in. Okay, well, I can get two canned food in and one raw component. And, uh, what's this? If I select this, uh, see, it would cost you. So moonshine is, uh, worth quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's do this deal. Two cans of food and one, um, component here. So, let's do the deal. Be here if you need anything more. And, uh, no, we're done here. Thanks much. I'll go now. Good luck. Well, uh, our trade is complete. Uh, Pavle, you can go ahead and, uh, eat. And... Bruno, you can uh, come up here and grab a bit of a bite to eat. Um, Marco, why don't you go down to the... Actually, why don't you come over here to the uh, the kitchen? I'm curious what it, it will cost to upgrade this stove so we can, say, maybe brew coffee. Um, improvement. A more efficient stove allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently saving fuel. That sounds very valuable, okay? So, what we need is 20 components and uh, 10 of this wood. So, I think that what we're gonna end up doing, since we are pretty well good on food for at least another night rolling, um, 
I'm going to... Okay, go ahead and send you back down here and uh, let him go to bed. Um, I think that what we're going to end up doing is um, sending Marco back out to... Uh, let's go ahead and bandage him. We're going to send Marco back out to the... Uh, the shelled cottage to pick up more components because we can go for one more day without getting food. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the upgrading, uh, what, what, what is required to upgrade the last of these, uh, things here. Slightly sick, uh, recovering, so. Let's see. Uh, to improve the workshop, we need nine wood, and 11, uh, 14 components. So really, we need to we need to double down on components um, to improve the metal workshop. Which I think uh, after I improve this, I can make guns. It's going to take just a, a metric ton of components, which makes this the most expensive thing to upgrade. Um, if I come back to the bench here, is it possible to make a second bed? Hey, it is. What do you know? Um, What's this? It would be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. When there's nothing on the news, we can listen to music and brighten our mood. Okay, so this is really important because I learned from experience the first time through that I played this. Um, people become worthless, okay? The people that you're managing here become absolutely worthless if they become depressed, okay? And, and and that really is a, an, an issue, okay? If morale gets way too low, if people get too depressed, you can't even sleep at night because someone is crying all night long and it keeps everyone else up, okay? So it's just not... It's, it's not good. You don't want that to happen. And because I'm going to go out and, you know, load up on components um, in the next raid, I'm going to go ahead and um, craft this right now. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to craft it anyway. Go ahead and place it there. And uh, we'll do that. And I think that this is where I'm going to stop the... Uh, I'm going to let him build this, and I'm going to stop the episode here, guys. And uh, we will go out raiding in the next episode. What do we got here? Day three, the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. The rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Okay. If I do this... Oh, I can actually tune it. Okay. Uh, well, that's uh, that has been this war of mine uh, for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Be certain to give me tips for um, what you know about this game. Because... Um, I could definitely use uh, all the information that I can get my hands on. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Catch you later. Bye.